a, a foreign news reporter is someone who is, in fact, uh, in many other ways, could be described as an international news reporter because they are reporting um, for their audience back at home about something happening in other parts of the world. And um, what the BBC did and many other broadcasters did over the years, they fine tuned the art of reporting internationally. So you end up having bespoke people who are becoming sort of experts in a very specific region of the world or specific countries, just as much as they have the health correspondent or the transport correspondent or those types of people, medical uh, correspondent and technology correspondent, you can go on and on. But, and you have the political editors and so on. They also fine tuned the Middle East correspondent, the Africa correspondent, and so on, uh, Washington correspondent, so that we know you can report on many things, but we've now assessed you and concluded that you are very good in politics. So we want you to be the Washington correspondent because there's very little there apart from 6 January, what we've seen, but everything is very much about politics. Who's saying what? What's this decision going to do impact on the lives of people? And there are other people who understand very complex stories like the Middle East. The Middle East is not just about Jerusalem and the Palestinian uh, crisis and uh, occupied territories. It is that and more because you can see now the story in the last few years has really been around Syria and, uh, and so on, Yemen. And so if you understand the Middle East, you can't confine yourself to just the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, uh, which is also as important. But you must understand Syria, you must understand Iran, in it. you must understand Lebanon, you know. So uh, then they, they send you there and you become the person who really deals, and it takes time to learn the places, language, food, culture, music. That's how you absorb and you soak in the information. So you can't tell me you know everything about the Middle East and the politics and the Iranians and the Syrians and the Israelis and the Palestinians, but you have no idea who is the best musicians, uh, you know, who are the, the winners of the literally festi literal festivals and so on and book festivals. So you must have a proper understanding, a holistic understanding. And that then goes throughout the world. Then we have Latin America people, you've got and so on. So when I was uh, immersed in Africa, we became the people who tell the stories about Africa. And some of these stories, they are not really isolated. And remember, I always remind people, this sounds like a cliche, Africa is not a country, okay? There are 54 countries in Africa, and there are so many different cultures, value systems, and so on, political dynamics uh, across the borders. But some of them are interlinked. So if you go to cover uh, Zaire, as it was then, then you must understand what the neighboring uh, impact is on Rwanda, on Burundi, on uh, uh, Congo Brazzaville, and, and so on. Uh, so you, you must, and, and, and Angola, and you must see what their involvement is and what happens when there's a bit of skirmish in Goma in the eastern part of uh, uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, what impact does it have on Burundi, on Tanzania, because the refugees run there, you know? And what happens when there's a war in Rwanda? Uh, the refugees run across the border into the Democratic Republic of Congo. Will they be warmly received by the locals as they take their places? You know, so the dynamics there require you not just to be, you know, the DRC correspondent. Now you must know why is the fighting in Rwanda? Why are the people running to the DRC? And so on. And that is what gives you that sort of special uh, understanding of what's really going on and what one political decision made in one part of the country or one part of Africa can impact another part of Africa. 